Welcome to today's edition of The Good, The Bad and The Ugly, especially curated from the world of economy and business today. Let's start with the good. The eBay bill introduction, it seems, is going really well as 1.7 million eBay bills have been generated for interstate goods movement since the introduction on April 1. This shows greater acceptance of eBay bills among the transporters as well as businesses than earlier anticipated. As against the 2.6 lakh eBay bills on the first day on April 1, 6.5 lakh eBay bills were generated on the next day and 8.15 lakh on the day after. Gujarat and Karnataka are generating the maximum number of e-way bills in India so far. However, the introduction of intrastate e-way bills for movement of goods within the state has not yet been introduced, despite the GST Council preferring April 15 as the deadline to start it. That, however, may not be possible as it stands today. Now to the bad. There is widespread speculation that Amazon may make a counter bid to a possible Flipkart and Walmart deal. However, that's as wild as it gets. There is absolutely no possibility of an Amazon and Flipkart deal because both the companies in India already have a market share in excess of 40%. A possible merger between the two will hit the hurdle of competition commission. The deal would be monopolistic in nature as the combined entity will have a market share at 80% or higher. The competition commission will most likely reject any such proposal because market shares in excess of 50% are considered monopolistic. Besides, the Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos has already announced that he would rather spend 15 billion in building the Amazon brand in India rather than acquire Flipkart. And now to the ugly. After the threats, the US-China trade war is for real now. In retaliation of the US moves, within 12 hours, China announced its own set of goods worth $50 billion, which will invite higher tariffs when imported from US. These include soybean juices, technology products, as well as aircraft. This is turning out into a full-fledged trade war that will not just impact global trade but also global recovery. In India, a jittery stock market wiped out 1.2 lakh crore of investor wealth as BSE fell 300 points. World markets are equally nervous as UK's FTSE fell 0.5% and Germany's DAX fell by 1.2%. Among the Asian markets, Hang Seng has already fallen 2.2% after the news broke. If you enjoyed watching this content, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, our Facebook page www.facebook.com slash business today. Follow Business Today on Twitter India at BT underscore India and subscribe to our YouTube channel Business Today India.